What we'll try and do is give you a good overview of where the industry is at the moment and more importantly where we think the industry is going over the next few years. This is our data center team here in Europe. Uh, as you can see, quite a few people, and most of those you will in, see, uh, will in fact see on stage, so to speak, here today. In order to give you a good overview, we try to pull uh, uh, the analysts together, the areas that they're working on, and uh, uh, hopefully you'll find this both interesting, insightful, and hopefully you'll be able to take some recommendations away again as well. So I won't go through those. You'll see the analysts on stage in a second. Please do reach out to any of our team if you have any questions or would like to connect with IDC. So let me just frame uh, the agenda for today. I'll do a short intro. We'll go through the data center landscape, storage mark, software defined infrastructure, and then also talk a little bit about cloud. And the reason why we've uh, taken this approach, there'll be very short presentations, is really around the opportunity and where we see maybe some of the barriers and challenges to you as vendors in the industry as well coming towards you. The very first point really is around if you look at the different regions in EMEA, you can see that over the next few years we're expecting a little bit of growth. That doesn't look quite so exciting when you look at it in comparison, but if you're looking at the net new revenue that we expect to appear in the market between 2015 and 2018, that's around 70 billion. So as a net new opportunity, that's actually a very decent picture. So that's great news. The other side of the coin is that we also expect that nothing will stay the same, or very many things won't stay the same, in the next five years or so. And the reason why I say that is, when we look at what the customers are doing, where they are investing, and the journey of the customers that you want to participate in as well, about two-thirds of those are going to have digital transformation right as a cornerstone of their IT strategy and their overall company strategy going forward. Very often it's a CEO mandate that will trickle down into how the company's spending is aligned with that strategy. And that means that if you look at mobility, cloud, big data, and social business, the third, what we as IDC describe the third platform, and we look at spending into robotics and using this as a platform for spending robotics, 3D printing, Internet of Things, next generation security, and the industry solutions that are being built on top of that, that's going to be where the growth will be. So the challenge really here is one, participating in what we call the third platform growth. This is really this part here with those what we call innovation accelerators on top. But obviously your customers are also looking at the second platform, the distributed computing platforms, their current legacy data centers, their applications. They're looking to modernize, optimize and update. But very clearly from our perspective, this is not trying to drive two-speed IT. In most cases that does not resonate very well with customers. What is a major opportunity from our side is to show those customers how you can bring those two things together. So a big growth opportunity on the third platform, a very large opportunity still in helping your customers optimize and rationalize the second platform, but more to the point is that those things are actually being brought together at some point. So there's an integrated view of IT going forward. And that resonates particularly well with some of the uh, people that you're probably talking to in the main, the CIOs, because that is going to keep them in a job. It is no fun for a company or in fact efficient to build two teams in the long run. It is also not good for skills, talent development and innovation in the company. So helping your customers achieve those goals will be key and bringing those things together. Now, in terms of participating in this opportunity, there are very many different aspects. And what we've tried to do here today is to look at a couple of those third platform uh, pillars, big data and especially in cloud, to show what the opportunity is and some of the trends. We're looking at the overall data center trends. We're also looking specifically at the storage opportunity and particularly also the storage uh, software-defined opportunity. So without further ado, 
I would like to hand over to Giorgio Novelloni, who will take you through the first, through the top level view of where we see the big data center transfer in Georgia.